special episode of Premier Wrestling. It's Second Life 18th birthday. All right, coming to the ring I'm from Los Angeles, California, standing five foot three, weighing 123 pounds. It is Huddy Pot. She is pretty much one of the best submission wrestlers on the female roster. From the jungles of Kenya, height at 6'6", weight at 255, accompanied by her lion friend, Nikita the Huntress. Jeez, Honey's head barely even comes up to Nikita's shoulders. Oh, there goes Nikita with a show. <laughs> she knocked Honey all the way to the ropes and off with a springboard. Hit her with that Jeez, back like, elbow, geez. man. Oh, yep, yeah, and seeking a speed just like that. Nikita went for the big boot. Honey rolled under it into another springboard. No, Honey's bouncing all over the place today. They're oh, there we go. Up. The figure four up into the figure eight. Nikita, she's just using that raw power to just drag Honey across the ring to force a rope break. You got it. Oh, that's my... Oh, and a huge back body drop. Nikita pandering to the crowd now, showing me big and strong. Oh, that is not good. Hit her with that gut buster. And there goes Honey into the ropes. Oh, oh and her hits her with that punchline, dude. Well, that's kind of an odd move. Oh, Honey threw Nikita into the ropes and that's that, an ultimate that combo. Backfired. Nikita went for the gorilla press into a choke slam. Oh, Lord almighty. Oh, oh the Kudo driver. Kudos to you. This is a variant. Nikita calls it the jungle driver. It was academic after that kudo driver for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of your match, the Huntress Nakita. Who's that coming out? Yeah, for the ones that doesn't know me, I'm Danny the Thunder, and I'm from Italy. And before I tell you why I'm here today, I just want to let you know something. I was supposed to speak in Italian, but I've been told that I cannot do that. Because you don't have enough time to learn another language. And if I might say that, it's the best language in the world. Yeah, the best one. And you know that. We have a break. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, why I'm here. Yeah, we, we, we're going to that. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you don't agree on what I just said, I don't care, honestly. And I don't even care about this celebration that you're having right now. No, I don't care about that also. Because I, honestly, I've been around and it's like we went back to the uh, cellar one. I mean, I can do this better in five minutes. I can make this much better in five minutes. Get about the ring. But let's speak about serious stuff, okay? The main reason that I'm here tonight is because I want to show you that I'm the best of all the performers that you're gonna see. And I can prove that to you all. Trust me, I can prove that. How? Well, you just need to know that even if I get 10 opponents in this ring, I can stand tall above them. You gotta believe this. And yeah, anyone can come up. I'm ready. Anytime. Yeah, even someone in the crowd. Yeah, like you in the first row. Yeah, I can see you there. I can see you. Why is he calling I people out in the crowd? Does does he have any sense in his head? Like, come on now. Um, because I know that you cannot deal with me. Yeah, uh -oh. e even the ones that are in the back. No one can deal with me. Because I'm the best around. And you're going to see music. that. Oh, oh yeah, you're going to see that. I will prove that I'm the best in this celebration. I'm the best in this federation. And I'm even the best between you all. Looks like Danny Thunder's not even paying attention to who's behind him. Wait, oh, what? yeah? <laughs> Is that so? Thunder. Thunder, thunder. Why do you gotta come out here and rag on all these people? Anyway. Look at these look at these people. You are all beautiful. This is a celebration. This is a birthday party. Why thunder why? 
because like I said before, I don't care what they're gonna say, I don't care what they're gonna think about me, and honestly, who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay, Thunder. You've been in Premiere for all of five minutes, but don't worry. You and I are gonna get real acquainted in this ring real quick. So you don't care what somebody says about you. So I can stand here and say, oh, look at you with your little knotted hipster beard and your generic tattoos that you probably picked blindfolded, and you're not going to care, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. X, your name? Like an X performer, maybe? Huh? Is that what you are? Oh, no, there would be an E in front of it, but good try. Good try. So, maybe you should go to the back, get a shower, find somebody, give you a hug, get a coke, and realize this is a birthday party. This is second life. Italy is beautiful. Language is beautiful. So is Australia. So is Austria. We can go down the list. And that's what second life is. It is a big melting pot of different people from different cultures, and they are all Beautiful. Why can't you accept that? Going down, huh? You know what's going down now? My fist on your face, because I have enough for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, is that so? Is that so? Let, let's try this out. How about this? How about a language that everybody can understand? First and foremost, SL Wrestling is a language that everyone can understand. You know what the second language is? It's cake. It's this cake in my hand. It's delicious. Here, have some. Oh! <laughs> I mean, can you blame is him? Is it delicious? I mean, huh? I was going to ask for some, but I don't think I want X to give it to me. He's got, oh. he's got the cake stuck to his hair. <laughs> it's stuck to his head still. <laughs> I it's guess the little things that make me laugh. Uh, I, I, I guess you could say this fight is a piece of cake for X so far. He's probably freaked out. He's probably heard him say that. Oh, it hits X with a spear. X just comes out of nowhere and hits him with that spy buster. And he hit him with that bifrost. They're still beating each other silly back there. But he's still a cake in his hair. <laughs> he comes from Perth in Western Australia. He stands at six foot six. Weighs in at 240 pounds, but you all know him as SMF. And now I have the pleasure of introducing from Egypt at 6'6, 270 pounds. He's the four time champion, MMA fighter, and current MMA champion. Here is the Ace! Ace for a long time was our middleweight champion. SMF and Ace fought for it. SMF was already fighting with a broken arm and almost won the match. But Ace cheated and tricked the ref. Heck, just thinking about it, I'm getting ready to see it and it's already, it's already making me excited. I might even have to take my sunglasses off to watch this. SMF catch wrestling here. Triple overhead arm. Ace counters with his own with a wrist lock of his own. Goes for an Irish whip. Big Hurricane Rana from SMF and Ace just rolls right out of it. The second Hurricane Rana sends Ace right to the ground. Dang, Ace is a long, long time veteran. You know, wrestling and MMA. That's for sure, Dante. Absolutely. And SMF too. He, he hasn't been in here as long as Ace has. Like I said, his rise has been basically meteoric. Like he, he is so great in the ring. He's fast, he's strong. You know, he can he can strike like a heavyweight, he can fly like a cruiserweight. Oh, Ace that sliding out of the ring, take a quick break. Cartwheel Tope Con Hilo. Oh, Ace back to his old tricks. Is that uh, Ace has a steel chair. Ace went for the swing, SMF catches it, kicks it out of Ace's hand. He's not having any of it, are you the Come man? on. Show me the man you really are. Show me that you've changed. Show me you can fight with honor. Show me the MMA champion you really are. I'm just wondering, why would he go to a full contact sport back to wrestling just like that? I, I don't get it. Ace ducks it! Ace just uh, did a dodge right out of the Matrix. I mean, I invited Ace back to Premiere after one of his matches, and 
you know, he said no at the time, but I told him the door was open whenever he wanted to come back, and I guess he took the offer. Hits him with that kick. Ace doing a combo of his own. SMF ducks that. Then Luthez press. Oh, man. Hey, SMF's just really taking it to Ace for this nice mat base approach. You know, you know, as much as I would like to see SMF win, I haven't seen an Ace mark in a really long time. Might be nice to see one of those again. Ace seems like he's a little out of it now. I mean, nice. Another cartwheel somersault. Go again. Oh! Oh! Hits with a clothesline! Lord almighty! Oh, that turned man. him inside out. There's just that veteran ring awareness that Ace has. Is this me or has Ace gotten bigger since we saw him last? Oh, oh Yakuza kick! Oh, and Ace showing that tremendous striking power he has. Uh-oh. Is Ace signaling for it? Is, are we going to see it? Oh, not yet, but those Muay Thai knee lifts. Ace's famous knee. That flurry was insanity. Oh! Beautiful counter. And diving oh. knee collapsing for a pin. A one, a two, only a two. I'm surprised he kicked out of that, man. That's both knees right into the bread basket. That knocked oh. the air out of you. Tell you what, after all, all I've seen Ace go through, it's going to take a lot more than that to put him down. I've seen this man pretty much use up our table. Oh! oh, now they're both out of the rig. Oh, uh, hits it with the Yenis Maximus oh, on the outside. Oh, you know? a snake eyes. And Starship paid no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Against, against the ropes. Oh, and here we go. Is this it? If this happens, this match might be over. Oh, and that's about dodges. There's no way he can make this distance. And he misses it. Is he going to be able to connect with this combo this time? Just hit him with that dun 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 Superman clothesline. So this is where Ace is strongest at. See how long he was middleweight champion? There was a reason why. Ace Alrighty. will not even give you a, a second to breathe. Here we go. Alrighty. Is this it? If this happens, this match might be over. Hits him with a divine intervention. He blocks that Ace mark. Earl goes out for a one, a two, and a three. There you have it, folks. Your winner of this match by Pitbull, SMF. Look at that. Ace, Ace oh, actually shaking SMF's hand. You got to respect that. Those two put 110% in that ring for sure. Definitely. This is a rematch that, had, that a lot of us have been waiting to see for a long time. And neither of them disappointed at all. You know what's ironic about it? This was about two months ago, three months ago, maybe a little bit more. SMF would be our middleweight champion right now. Well, on behalf of me, the only Ronin Warrior, LBA, and the sharp dressed man himself, RGF Dante, we'd like to say thank you for coming, and we hope to see you again soon.